Hello and welcome back to another tutorial by Ali at Dunduka Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create pause menu in Construct 3. As you can see, we have a game scene here. A little Mario is jumping here and uh, we have a pause button. When I click on it, uh, the pause pop-up shows up. We have several buttons here. Uh, home for going home page and let me show you the reset action it's gonna reset the game and we have sound and music uh, sound and music triggers we're making them on and off okay and here uh, we have a little uh, close button and as you can see when I click on pause the game freezes and here we resume the game. If you want to see how this made by Construct 3, continue watching. It'll be great to subscribe my channel to uh, don't miss my devlogs and tutorials. Also, don't forget to like my videos. Okay, let's get started the tutorial. As you can see, we have two layers here, game and pause. And uh, in the layer pause, we have several buttons. Uh, which will be child of these uh, pause pop-up in the code uh, which I will do that and uh, here we have a tile background object called pause bg for fading in and out behind the pause pop-up these pause buttons uh, included in uh, pause buttons family for doing uh, stuff for doing the actions faster okay so let's get it started and add these buttons as child of this object go in game sheet let's uh, say on a startup layout hit P button double click for each pause buttons add action pause pop up search for add child I'm going to add uh, every single pause button as child of this object. And what, what, what I'm going to do next is uh, making the pause invisible. For doing that, I'm going to hit B button, add action, pause, pop up, scale to zero, and add action, pause, BG, opacity to zero. Okay? Next thing we, we need to do is adding a new variable called pause, which is a boolean true false variable, okay? Uh, it's false uh, as at first and it's gonna be true when I click on btn pause here. So let's uh, do that. Add action, touch on any touch and b and touch uh, if we're gonna uh, if we, we're touching btn pause uh, I'm gonna make pause true okay and uh, what I'm gonna do next is uh, making the animation of uh, pause and this pause bg fade out okay fading actually so let's go and do it at action uh, pause vg twin that i already added in behaviors opacity to 100 is too much 70.3 and out quintic and i'm gonna do pause pop up animation size to self plot image width and self dot image height 0.3 out back okay let's see the result okay when i click on it uh it shows up like a pop-up animation and what I'm going to do next is undo this action by hitting this button. Let's go here, copy this part and change it to BTN close, pause to false, 
opacity to zero and size to zero as well and it's going to be out quintic okay as you can see it's worked very well next thing i'm going to do is freeze the game after we are uh we are doing pause okay so here at action game object which is mario character uh set no not here let's go in system set object time scale game time scale to zero and here we're gonna make it one okay uh this will freeze the object okay let's run all right as you can see it freezes i'm gonna close the pop-up and it's working very well uh now let's put these uh events in a new group i'm gonna call this pause resume okay and let's do it here and let's create another group called pause buttons hit b button what i'm gonna do is uh copy and paste this act event here uh, when I clicked on BTN Home, of course, when it's pause, I'm gonna change this action to pause. If pause and we're touching BTN Home, I'm gonna go to Layout Home and uh, let's copy and paste this if uh, i click on btn reset i'm gonna restart layout okay and uh, next thing i'm gonna do is adding uh, actions for uh, btn music and btn sound uh, which i already explained about sound and music in construct 3 that you can click on the top link to watch the video and for now i'm just gonna add the triggers for these two buttons and for doing that i need two variables here sound one and music one okay now let's add the sound button action hit b button BTN sound if its frame is zero we have two frames for on and off if its frame is zero uh, we're gonna set variable sound uh, to actually one and else we're gonna make it sound zero and here click on group hit b button double click system and here we are going to uh, set the frame for btn sound else copy and paste zero or let's just uh, add triggers for these options to not making every tick okay i'm gonna add trigger ones for each of these okay now let's see does it work oh it's not working here why is that i actually need to replace these objects okay it's working very well now let's do it for uh, our music too okay i'm gonna click whole event and click on R for replacing with BTN music and here I'm going to change sound to music and let's copy and paste these two music music one and I'm going to uh, select them and hit R and click on BTN music and let's see the result all right come on as you can see music working sounds work and 
preset is working and let's click on home home page is here and I already added a code for going from home page to game page and that's it let's play go to game as you can see making pause menu in construct 3 is really simple and you can make it uh, better and prettier for your own game okay this is our website bunduk.studio here you can uh, buy html5 games and construct 3 templates and uh, you can go in tutorials page and watch my tutorials also don't forget to like and subscribe and comment me in YouTube for the next video's idea. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.